Hey kids, welcome to lesson 12, loops and simulations, number two, counting heads. Let's say that a one is a head. If we want our simulation to run until we reach a certain number of heads, then we will need a way to count the number of heads that's been flipped. In order to do this, you will need to add a variable that acts like a counter. Initialize it at zero, and every time you flip a head, you're gonna increase the counter by one. At the end of the program, you should write the value to the screen. Hmm. We have a do this, add a variable that counts the number of heads, ones, and writes its value to the screen after each flip. Run your program several times and validate that the number of heads recorded is correct by visually checking the flips you've printed to the screen. Hint, you will also need to store your current coin flip in a variable to complete this challenge. I think that's a pretty big hint right there. Well, it looks like we have a couple of things to do here. One, we need to find a way to count the number of heads being flipped. And we need to print that to the screen. Well, how are we gonna do that? Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to create a variable. Because if I'm counting something and it's going up or down, I'm gonna to need to just store it and reassign it. So I know I need a variable. And what are we really counting here? The number of heads flipped or ones. So I'm gonna do a variable num heads, and I'm gonna equal that to zero. This is going to be just like sim num counted up and down in the last lesson, num heads is gonna be used to count as well. But how are we gonna to count to that? What are we gonna do there? Well, at some point, I'm gonna to need to compare what is being flipped against whether it is a one or not. Because we're going a random number, zero and ones, zero being tails, one being heads. And we're gonna to have to figure out when it does equal heads, it's gonna to have to do something. Well, we, if it's got to do something, that sounds like we should use an if statement. I think after my flip here, after the flip is gone, before it writes anything, let's say if the flip equals one, we're going to need a brace here because we need to contain what happens inside there. We're going to say num heads plus plus. So we're going to add one to num heads. Just thinking through this real quick, while the sim num is less than 10, I'm going to keep flipping, and flipping is just a random number, either zero or one. If that flip is going to be equal to one, then we're going to increase num heads by one. And that's just gonna keep track of how many ones that I flipped during the simulation of 10. I still need to do something with this. So that's the first part. I think that's a way to count the heads as we're flipping them through our simulation. How do we output that? Well, I think after we write flip, we wanna know what happened. So I wanna output zero, one or whatever. I wanna write something else. What do I wanna write? Well, looking back up here, we want to count the number of heads and writes its value to the screen. So let's write, hmm, heads like that. And we'll do this, we want a little space. And let's just print out num heads. And that way, I can just keep track of how many heads there are as it goes. Looking back at my program here, 
I have my variable sim num. That's the number of time my simulation is running. It's set to zero at the start of the program. I have another variable num heads. That's going to count the number of heads on the screen or ones. While the simulation is run less than 10 times, we're going to pick a random number between one and zero. That is going to be stored in flip. If flip happens to equal one, we're going to add one, plus plus is add one, to our num heads variable up here. We're going to write the flip over here, and we're also going to write how many heads have gone. So heads is either one, two, three, four, just like our example over here. Hmm, sounds pretty good. Oh, I have a little red box here. Let's see what we did wrong. Well, I forgot to close my little if statement here. So it is open over here and I have to close it down here. And then we go outside of the loop and we're just writing flips and uh, heads. So all I did right there was just to forget to close my bracket. Well, let's test our hypothesis out here. Let's hit run. And it looks like I have six heads. So when I go back here and count, I should have six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. That validates that. Let's try one more time. Reset, run. It says I have five. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like my program is performing great. Looking back up here, I added a variable that counts the number of heads. That's num heads. And how is num heads counted? Well, if the random number is one when it's generated, then I'm just going to increase num heads by one. After that, I validated that the number of heads recorded is correct by writing it to the screen. Pretty interesting. I think that's all code.org wanted from us in this lesson. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.